So we got Bria, Alabama, 50, Sagittarius. He's a retired government worker. Dad to four kids by two of his ex-wives. What kind of woman are you looking for, Van? Uh, someone who's mature, sure of herself. Uh, I, you know, I said that not overly emotionally thing. And then, you know, that, that applies. Whatever I require, I require it of myself as well. And uh, someone who's open-minded. And I'll explain if, uh, if time permits, or I don't know if you'll get into it with uh, more do you, questions. Want to, do you want to explain it right in this moment? <laughs> yeah, I guess it's open a can of worms. <laughs> okay, um, I'm quite, I'm kind of, my situation is a little different. Um, I'm a male, uh, uh, a uh, hetero male that's changing over. So are you, you're transitioning to become a woman? Yes. So that's why I mean by my open minded. So uh wait, so my situation wait a minute, Van. <laughs> wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. So Van. Okay, oh. you've been married twice. Right. So would you consider yourself gay? <laughs> you um no, that's <laughs> Okay, I, in my current state, or I guess, you know, I pretty much resent as male, obviously, but uh, I guess if I would define my orientation, I would say it's the same, but the package is changing, if that makes sense. So do you want, in this new package, do you want to date women or men? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, kid, I'm not trolling. I promise I'm not trolling you. Um, I I would like a female. So Never you want to continue to date females, but you're gonna become a woman. A trans. A right, trans woman. Thing. Right. Now, I believe that every you know every gender should have their own agencies. I don't have a problem with that identifier in front of the word because I know it's a big thing about what's real and what's not real. I realize that. I wouldn't be an organic female, so well, I wouldn't be. Are you gonna Are you gonna do the body surgery? Right. Yes. Very much so. Yeah. Now, I want to just ask this because you got four kids. You were married twice. Was this right. always inside of you? Did you always have this desire to do this? Ah, uh, yes. Yeah, I would say I never really felt in touch with uh, masculinity, and actually, I always, you know, in my military experience, kind of like was the icing on the cake that made me want to be done with masculinity. Um, you know, I felt myself more of an advocate for women. Uh, and I know people say you can be an advocate for women without wanting to change your gender. <laughs> I, I get that too. But uh, <laughs> but with me, I kind of more been feel like I've been more aligned on the, the, the woman side. I had the male experience, of course, growing up, had girlfriends, got married, obviously had kids. But uh, I kind of feel that, you know, the way I can put it, that I'm missing out on life by not experience the other gender. And it wasn't just something on a whim. It's a feeling that I never really felt attached to manhood, you know what I'm saying? And anything that our society and our world identifies as men, you know, nothing to do with orientation because, you know, I'm not into men and never have been. But I just feel. I should have been something else for, I guess. And hopefully within a year, I'll have everything done, you know, with a snip snip and everything. So, so that's why I say I need an open-minded woman because, you know. Well, a woman that of, doesn't want, so you want a woman that doesn't mind you dressing like her and also that doesn't want a penis. Right. But right, you're the right. first um, man to come on my show to say, I am going to become transgender into a woman. So I want you to understand that I have a penis today, but I won't a year from today. And I want you to be right. okay with that because you still want to date a woman. Right. Kendra, you, you summed it up perfectly. You said that perfectly. Much better than I could have said it. Yeah. So I would want a woman. <laughs> Seriously, I would want a woman to understand that. What you, 
And now you see it, now you don't. You know, it's like, it's I like a mirage. Not right, like a mirage. Oh. Yeah, yeah, like David Copperfield Vegas show. Like, you know, we may start like courting and dating one way, but, you know, the end result will be something else. It's like, you know, abracadabra. <laughs> like, boo, you know? <laughs> Fantastic. <laughs> My brother, Berima, open your mouth, say what you want. Don't be ashamed. Oh? Open your mouth. Claim claim the nonsense, the inquasiasem <laughs> that is coming out of your mouth. Say it with pride. Hmm? The nonsense that you want to open your brown teeth to say. Why were you ashamed to say it? Say it with pride. Hmm? See it. Hmm? Open your mouth, talker. Talker. You are a man. Chai. A wana woman. You were married to two different wanawaki. Chai. You have four children. Chai. You are divorced. Now you are looking for a wanamke that will marry you. A woman that will marry you and accept that you will. Turn to woman. Child. Say it. Don't be ashamed. <laughs> if you if if na better thing, you won't talk, you go talk and with pride. <laughs> if if it was a, a sensible thing that you wanted to say, you will be proud to say it. <laughs> but but the fact that you are ashamed or you are holding back to say it knows that you even yourself know that you are talking of what you are saying. You know. You want a woman. We marry you as man with Mbara, EPP. That she married, that she will be enjoying Ngana. Her marrying every time. Pa, pa, pa. Okwe gata, okwe zina. Now, you say she will accept because she's open minded that small time that EPP is going, no, you will go and cut it to turn it to Kuma. <laughs> so that two of you can be doing Robi Robi, Robin Kuma na Kuma. You, that is what you want, Abi. I have never seen a more confused individual in my life. <laughs> in fact, in the realm of confusion, this man's this man, his face, he should be the poster boy of confusion. <laughs> you are a very confused individual. Now we see why your other two wives ran away. <laughs> they can be had. They bap was sword for their life. You see why they ran away. And there's an African proverb that said the cane will flog the first wife. The cane that flogs the first wife is hanging on the door to flog the second wife when she enters the house. This one, it has flogged the first wife. It has flogged the second wife. Now he's looking for a third wife that that cane will flog. <laughs> My brother, you need mental evaluation. You don't need a wife. You need Prozac. <laughs> you need a, a, a cocktail of different antipsychotics too. Because you are you are you are running mad. We we name Jenga. We we name Jenga. You are a mad man. There is no two ways about it. <laughs> Women run away from this one. Run far away. Because now he doesn't feel like a man. After growing up like a man, enjoying Kuma all these years, even got married. Chop Kuma, chop Kuma, born children. <laughs> now, even went to the military. Now, he doesn't feel like a man. He feels like a woman. So when you marry him tomorrow, after one year, he will say he doesn't feel like a woman again. He feels like a tortoise. Acheche die. Kobe. Mbe and food. He feels like a tortoise now. Then he will divorce you. Then he will say he's looking for a female tortoise <laughs> that is open minded. <laughs> then he will marry that female tortoise. Hmm? After one year, he will say he does not feel like tortoise again. Right now, he feels like a lion. <laughs> He feels like an empologoma. 
like a Simba. That's how he feels now. So he will divorce the tortoise and start transitioning into a lion. <laughs> that is how confused individuals like this manage to confuse you, your, 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 your life. This is why marriage can be very dangerous. You think you are marrying a normal person. You don't know that you are marrying a madman that escaped from psychiatric ward. <laughs> you say you support the right of women. Fantastic. Okay. Support the right of women. Do you have to go and cut your EPP and turn it to Kuma to support the right of women? <laughs> In case you don't know, that surgery can never turn you into a woman. There is God. You will never see your period. You will never be able to bear a child. Because your anatomy is different from that of a woman. A woman is built differently. You will never, your kuma will never get wet. The kuma they constructed for you. The, the kuma they use uh, uh, wood and metal. <laughs> they went to weather to construct for you. It will never get wet. <laughs> Can't you just stop rather than going to maim yourself? Rather than going to maim yourself, you can become a woman's advocate without maiming yourself. So you expect one woman because she's open-minded. She marry you as man. Small time now, you cut off your EPP. EPP that she's looking forward to enjoying so that two of you can be rubbing kuma, kuma na kuma. Two of you can be rubbing kuma na kuma together in the house. If you are not ashamed of what you are saying, say it with pride. <laughs> Women, and even if you are a lesbian, if you are anyone you are, run away from this confused fellow. This one. In fact, screenshot this video and keep it on your phone. <laughs> run away from this confused fellow. This one is a is an agent of confusion. Look at his face. He's an agent of confusion. Somebody has four children and is is this is what he's doing. He's not even an example to his four children. Look at what they are, they are, the agenda they are pushing to us. You cannot even be responsible as a father for your four children. Look at what you are opening your brown teeth to talk. <laughs> Look at the inquasiasem. You are opening your brown teeth to talk. You, you don't need a wife. You, you need antipsychotics. You need to be locked up. Maybe they carry you to come to Yaba left. They lock you up in Yaba left here. <laughs> Neuropsychiatric hospital Yaba. They lock you. Then they put more guard so that you don't talk nonsense or bite people. <laughs> Because I need to kill madman like this bite. Thank you. Hey, where are you going? It is smoky, bro. When you watch this video now, didn't you laugh? You laughed, but you still refuse to subscribe. Are you among my village people? <laughs> you are among my village people. You don't want me to make it in life. Continue. You refuse. You laughed. Shouldn't my reward be <laughs> click the subscribe button? Click the notification bell and click all notifications. And when you finish watching, you share. Share to your friends so that they too will laugh. So that me too, I will go far. But no, you decided to be among my village people. You want to watch and go. <laughs> Don't be among my village people. They are not good people. I post videos every day, every single day to make you laugh. If you join the tribe, the fantastic tribe, every day you will just be laughing. Look at this one now. This one is to watch all my funny videos playlist this one is to watch my last video and this one is to subscribe 